Hi, this video is going to be on how to create a self-graded quiz in Google Forms. So I've already created a Google Forms question. Um, basically, I have my title here. Um, I asked what your first name is and what your last name is. Uh, this is important for some of the add-ons that you can do later. Um, we'll explain in another video. And then typically you'd like to make sure that you know where the class is. So I just created a very quick little easy multiple choice question with what period you're from. And I had a small review here for the health related components. And my first question is what exercise is the best to help with cardiovascular endurance? I created different options for my answer, but instead of using text, I actually put pictures in to make it a little bit easier for the students to see. When you go down, I then created an upper body strength question about what exercise is best for developing your upper body muscular strength. And I have four different options here, and I've reorganized them from the first question. You'll notice down here I also have required the questions, so this will force the students to actually have to answer them. They can't leave the question blank. Now that I'm all set up, if I needed to get to the responses, it'll show up here as the data comes in, uh, and then I can go ahead and create a spreadsheet like we talked before. I can change the theme. I can get a preview, which will be important a little bit. I'm going to change the settings. Um, if I wanted to collect the email addresses, if I'm a one-to-one -one school, that would be perfect. Uh, if I wanted to limit to one response so that this is a quiz and that they're not going to go in and, oh, I missed number four, so I'm going to go ahead and change number four and then resubmit. And then I'm going to click on quizzes, and I'm going to make this a quiz. Then I'm going to choose to release the grade immediately after the submission. If I had to do a short answer review and to see if they earned the points, I'd want to do it later after the manual review. And then I'm going to show you what respondents can see afterwards through missed questions, correct answers, and point values. When I'm done, I'm going to hit the save button and go back. Now, this is where we get started, and I'm going to go down to the health-related components. So when I'm in the question that asks, I'm going to click on the question. You'll see that it says answer key, and I'm going to click on it. So I'm going to reread the question. What exercise is the best to help with cardiovascular endurance? The best choice would be jumping jacks, and you'll see that the green check is there. When I'm selecting the answers, you'll see that it's highlighted. I can select more than one answer, but it's an all or nothing. So if this is worth two points and they got this one correct, but not this one, it would give them zero points. And then when I'm ready, I want to come over here and I want to click how many points it's worth. And this is just up to you with your grading. So for now, I'm just going to do one answer and worth one point. And then I'm going to scroll down to the next question. Which exercise is best for developing your upper body muscular strength? Once again, I'm going to click on the question first so that I can edit it a little bit. I click answer key. And then I'm going to look for the upper body one, which would be the push-ups. And I'm going to make this worth one point as well. When I'm ready, I can go ahead and kind of do a preview. And you'll see that I have my email address in there. And my first name is self-populating right now because it's on my computer. But you can have the students type in, what period am I? And then I click the next button, and it's a new section. So which exercise is the best to help with cardiovascular endurance? So I'm going to create this one to be the correct one. And then I'm going to go down to the next button to the next section where I have the next question. And then what exercise is best developing upper body muscular strength? So I'm going to put the wrong answer for this one just so that you can see. And when I'm done, I hit submit. Now your response has been recorded is on here, view my score. And you can see that I have a total of one out of two points. This section I had zero out of zero because I didn't assign any. You could assign points for your names. You could assign a point for your period. And then you can see here that I had it checked off that um, jumping jacks was the correct answer for that one. And then here, you see that I didn't get it, so it has the red and the X, and I got 0 out of 1 points. And then option 3 was not the correct answer, but the correct answer was option 2. 
Now that I go back here, you'll see that I have a response in here now, and then I can get different kind of data for each one. So I have a summary. You can see how things line up. I can go question by question if I wanted to. So here's question one, which is the first name, by last name, the class, uh, what exercise to help you, and then you can also click by individual. So this is my whole written up form pretty easily right now so that you can see it. If I would prefer, I can go ahead and create it into a spreadsheet. Remember that it's going to use the same name that I had up here, and then it just says responses here. So I'm going to do create a new one, and then you just wait for it to load just a few seconds. And then here you can see the timestamp that when it went in. You can see the email address. You can see your score. Uh, if you needed to adjust the score because you realized something went wrong, you can just go in here and type, and it'll do it. And then you can see what is your period what exercise. Now the hard part is option. Um, it doesn't show the pictures. So if you wanted to write in the correct text and have the picture as well to help the students. I hope this helped. Uh, there's going to be some other videos up if you need help with some of the other aspects. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you very much.